Hey, qué rollo, quiero mandar un saludo a mi amigo Goodfella, de parte de tu amigo Jaime Munguía. Un abrazo, que no Ánimo. All right, let's go listen to Roy Jones. Well, this, this is what I'm going to say. And I know I looked at it this way yet. But most of the time when you move up, you just want to move up to get a belt and that weight clear and say you did it. And you move on. If you stay there, you get the head going back where you came from, right? All right. You already did that. You did that when you beat Kovalev. What you going back to do it again for? It's crazy. You want to be two times like that? What does that prove? So why would you waste time messing with me, boss? Who was a problem already? Why would you do that? So you, if you did that, that means that you thought that he would be easier than David Benavides? Or you thought he might have been easier than Jamel Charlo? Or you the money, man. You could have gave us something to see with. Fine right, to meet you, Andre. Why are you going to challenge another... Light heavyweight, when you already accomplished that one time, you caught the right one, you did it, get out and leave that alone. Yep, Roy, yep. Roy, are you, are you, Roy, are you insinuating that this was a, a cherry pick gone wrong? It was. It had to be. It had. I don't give credit where credit is not due. You gotta earn my credit. Everybody always says, oh, he got so much better since the Mayweather fight. No, he didn't. Because if you would go out there and get a Mayweather chest, that fight might have been different. He was 16 pounds heavier than Mayweather, right? Um, how did it beat Roger? Well, he heard himself. He said, you know, it was a cherry pick go wrong, and uh, Canelo Alvarez didn't get better since Mayweather. I keep telling you all that. And if he did get better, it's minor adjustments. And he right. If he... If he was smart, he would have went in Bebo Chess, but he don't have no inside game. Keep telling y'all that. Unless he dominating he up, he didn't have no inside game. And if he did, you know, he ain't showing it. He ain't showing versus Mayweather. He ain't showing versus Bebo. And everybody talking about he should have used a jab. Okay, he used a jab. Hold on. Hold on. He used a jab, right? Fine. But what's the next What's the next stage of using a jab? What are you doing to set up, to set up an overhand, right? So. You know, if he used to jab and then he got to slip to get on the inside, he can't, he can't, oh, he can't box with Bevo on the outside. And you can't learn to be an inside fighter in one training camp. It's not Rocky. So he right. He really didn't get mad at versus Mayweather. And adjustments that he made versus Lara, he just started, the only adjustment him and Renato made versus Lara, which is the, the only fleet of foot fighter or slick fighter he fought since Floyd Mayweather to that, to the Bevo point. The only adjustment that they made, bro, was that, uh, the only adjustment that, that they made was they just start, they start, you know, uh, how, can, how can I put this, honestly? They start, I can't call it timing. They start throwing the hook where Lara was going to slide out at, and that's what made the fight closer than what it was. So they know every time Lara probably threw something, he slid out to his left. I don't know for sure because I ain't watched the fight in a minute. So they start throwing that hook where Lara was going to be. They start anticipating that hook where Lara was going to be at. That's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. They start anticipating the hook where he was going to be at. You know, that's that's exactly what they've done. And that's the only adjustment they made. They didn't make an adjustment as far as when you got a slick fighter, you close the gap. And everybody thought because Marcos Madonna, everybody thought – uh Everybody thought Marcos Madonna. Uh, everybody thought Marcos Madonna, because uh, he did it. Uh, Canelo was gonna close the gap, get on the inside, and beat up Floyd Mayweather. That ain't happening. You gotta have that ability to fight on the inside, and and Canelo don't. So you're not gonna outbox Beaver on the outside. We we already established that. You don't have the hand speed. You don't have the height. You don't have the length. You don't have the explosiveness to jump in with that extra weight on you to jump in and jump out. And you don't have the footwork to find the angles and the feints to, to get your feints going. So Roy Jones is right. And it's proved once again. He didn't get better from Floyd Mayweather. Watch the wire fight. Look at the opponent lineup that he had. You know, when you look at it, it ain't nobody that mimicked that. They can walk and chew bubble gum, which I'm just saying that it just sounds good. You look, you look at the fighters that you can say that, that are close to that since Floyd Mayweather. You know, Lara, maybe Khan, but he was blown up coming up. You know, and Daddy Jacobs really not that guy. No offense to him. 
Billy Joe Saunders and Caleb Plant. And in my opinion, you know, Billy Joe Saunders and Caleb Plant, they gave him fits. He just knew they was going to slow down and they was going to be stationary. He was going to knock them out. You know, that's what he knew. You know, with Dimitri Bibble, Bibble took the fight to him. He thought Bibble was going to get hit on and fold. You know, then B, he started hitting on Bebo, and Bebo come right back and put it on him. He wasn't expecting that resistance. That's the truth. He wasn't respect, He wasn't expecting that resistance. So, that's it. You see, he still struggled with that style. Bebo had good hand speed, good foot speed. You know, his feet, get his feet off the line, you know, and that's what happened. So, it was a cherry pick call wrong, just like he said. He probably thought Dimitri Bivol was a lesser fighter than Jamal Charlo and Benavidez. He'd have made ten more million dollars fighting Benavidez, I believe. He'd have made ten more million dollars fighting Benavidez. You know, he chose uh, Dimitri Bivol for a reason. He chose Dimitri Bivol for a damn reason. You no, know, can't nobody dispute with Roy Jones saying. And he right. He should have went up there, got a belt, and be done with it. What did it prove going up to be two-time light heavyweight champion? Nothing. Unless you was going to fight him for undisputed, that's the only reason why. And he found out that he ain't as invincible as he think he is. He not. He's a product of matchmaking. Even with good matchmaking, you could have made a case that he lost some of these fights that he 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 won in his career. He should have lost, you know. So that is what it is. Hold on. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You right there watching this video, waiting for this live stream to start, or just watching the membership video, man, and why you should join the membership. Let's talk about it real quick, expeditiously. Um, we got the three levels. You got the rookie level. You got loyalty badges. You got custom emoji badges. And you have members on the live stream. As we get more people flowing in uh, to join the membership, I have members only live chat. That means everybody can see the video. They want to see the video, but only members will be able to check. That's three dollars a rookie. Dog star, you get personal shout outs before the videos, maybe after the video, mostly likely before the videos. Um, you give a priority to reply in the chat. Uh, so as soon as I see you, I reply before anybody else. Get early access to pretty much all my non-boxing videos. Um, there, ten dollars a month. Then we got the boxing pound for pound superstar for all my boxing boys. And all right, my bad, the dog said Barker had to get the long person. My bad, y'all. But um, but yeah, he posted got a belt and going unless you're going for undisputed. That's the only thing I could think about. Unless you're going for undisputed. So, you know, Roy told no lies there. He thought Bebo was easier than Jamal and Benavidez, or he didn't want to fight them in a in a three fight deal. That's exactly what it was. You know, he didn't want to get in there and and and, and fight all two or three of them people he had to fight. He probably said, "I fight one and come back later and fight another." Canelo probably don't really want to get in there with Triple G at this point. Maybe he do because he seen it all. You know, but who knows? He told me, you know, he still got the toughest challenger. He still got the fights that the fans want. That's horse crap. That's horse crap. You don't. You don't seek out the biggest and toughest fights. Everything you do is calculated. Floyd Mayweather, but you know, you know, did a catch with a two pounds and everything. Not everything you throw your dominance on everybody else. You know, judges, referees, gloves, venues, you're down four points. He dare deserved that ass. Well, he, he was smelling himself. He thought he was the greatest of all time. You're not. You're not. You're a, you're a good fighter, but you ain't a great fighter. Not yet. Every every every, every decision you get, every fight look the damn same. You got De La Hoya snitching on himself. Why would he let him fight him? <laughs> Come on. 
You gave us the fights we want. You would have fought Jamel Charlo back in the day. You wouldn't have ducked Jamal Charlo into the franchise belt. You wouldn't have ducked Darvichenko. You wouldn't have ducked the trilogy of Triple G for so long. If that's how you was cut. But you wasn't. You were not cut that way. What? So, we can talk about this till we blew in the face. But Roy Jones told no lies. There's a cherry pick going wrong. And you do not get better since May. What do you get better at? Nobody can ever tell you that. Hand speed, inside fighting, he do the same thing. He could beat Mayweather now. Of course, Mayweather, old man. Doing exhibitions. No boxing skills have been developed. His opponent, his, his matchmaking has improved. That's his biggest improvement. His matchmaking has improved. That's the biggest and best thing he done is his matchmaking. You know? So we can talk about all that too. He's blowing his face and stuff. Don't take away he's a good fighter, Dan. He's trying to figure out, you know, what's the next move. And they said we should know something next week. So I heard his own want to push him towards fighting Golovkin in the trilogy. We'll see. You know, but hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live and drop a video. And then you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Uh, hit my link tree if you want to find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. All them links in the, that big one. the link tree link, one link in the description. Find me everywhere. If you want to go there, cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what's in the comment section. Peace.